inch, that when you hold something around 10 or 12 inches away from your eyes is the limit of the human retina to differentiate the pixels. And so they're so close together when you get at this 300 pixels per inch threshold that all of a sudden things start to look like continuous, continuous curves. Like text looks like you've seen it in a fine printed book. Unlike you've ever seen on an electronic display before. And at 326 pixels per inch, we are comfortably over that limit. And it's extraordinary. So let me give you an example of a normal display on the left and the retina display on the right. Look at the difference. Can you see it? Here's some more text of different sizes and different weights. And you can really, really see this stuff. Once you use a retina display, you can't go back. <laughs> when you get to character-based languages, kanji in this case, it's also striking. And it's not just text. It's images and video as well. Look at the difference. This is the same image on a normal display and a retina display. Here's another one. Pretty amazing, isn't it? So what I'd like to do now is show this to you live. I've got an iPhone 3GS, which has got a widely praised display on it. And I've got a new iPhone 4. So let me get them both fired up here. There we go. And I can ask them to blow these up. There we go. Look at that difference now. This is pixel. This is, we had to get special projectors for this because most projectors can't display as many dots as are on a retina display. So this is pixel for pixel accurate right off these two displays. And you can really see it. Look at that folder there. Uh, and uh, let me go inside, and you can look at the icon of the folder, compare them, look at the text, look at the linen, look at the icon of the compass, the icon of the clock. Isn't that amazing? So now, let me go ahead. I'm going to go to some websites. I'm going to go to the New York Times today. And uh, let's just compare these websites. Our networks in here are always unpredictable, so they're a little, I have no idea what we're going to find. They are slow today. You know, you could help me out if you're on Wi-Fi, if you could just get off. <laughs> I'd appreciate it. Uh, we're having a little problem here. I don't know what's wrong with our networks. I'm afraid uh, I have a problem, and I'm not going to be able to show you much here today. I can show you some pictures in the camera roll. Let's just go take a look at some photos here. Take a look at that. Same photos. Pretty different. Again, same photo. See the difference? You really see it around the eyes, the teeth. So it kind of just comes down to what do you want to be looking at all day long? So the retina display. Three and a half inches, the same size as the iPhone 3GS, yet with 960 by 640 pixels, that's four times more pixels than the iPhone, G iPhone 3GS. 326 pixels per inch, an 800 to 1 contrast ratio, which is, again, four times better than the 3GS. 
We're using IPS technology. This is a very advanced LCD technology, which is quite a bit, in our opinion, quite a bit better than the OLED technology for these types of products. And uh, provides much more accurate color and much higher resolution. You can't make an OLED display with this type of resolution right now. And so we think the IPS technology is, is really quite superior. And it results in incredibly sharp text, images, and video. Now, again, the retina display has got 78% of the pixels on an iPad right in the palm of your hand. iPhone OS 4 makes it so your apps automatically run on the retina display, full size. But they look even better because what we do is iPhone OS automatically renders your text in the higher resolution and all your controls in the higher resolution. So you get that automatically and your apps look even better without you doing any work. But if you do a little bit of work, and open up the hood of your app and, in, and put in higher resolution artwork, then they will look stunning. So we'd suggest that you do that. <laughs> so that is the retina display. Awesome text, awesome images, and awesome video. We think this is going to set the standard for displays for the next several years. And we don't think anybody's going to come close. And you know, the display is your window into the internet, into your apps, into your media, into your software. We think it's maybe the most important single component of the hardware. And we've got something here now that's like the best window on the planet. <laughs>